Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to start a website for complete beginners in the military. This is gonna be the easiest and most affordable method out there. So it doesn't matter if you don't know any coding, you don't know anything about web design, and you can literally get started for less than $3 per month. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through the entire process step-by-step. Step, so feel free to use the links down in the description to follow along with me. Now these are affiliate links, so I do get a small referral fee at no extra cost to you. This is actually a great deal. I mean, like I said, you guys can get started for less than $3 per month yeah if you use my link down below it's going to help support the channel so that i can keep creating free content like this but anyways let's get started with the tutorial so if you guys click on that link down below you guys are going to get taken to a page like this as you guys can see you can get started for less than three dollars per month with this you guys are going to get access to 24 7 customer support a free domain name free website migration and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you guys don't find that it works out for you guys you can always just get your money back but to get started i'm going to go ahead and click on claim deal right here and now it's going to ask me to choose a plan so there's three different options there's the premium plan the business plan and the cloud startup for most of you guys the premium plan is going to be perfectly fine this is going to have everything you need to create your website so if we look at some of the top features you get access to standard performance you can create up to 100 different websites you get 100 gigabytes of ssd storage weekly backups unlimited free ssl a free email and a free domain name looking at some of the other plans you guys are going to get access to increased performance more storage and some other features for e-commerce if you guys are trying to start an online store. But yeah, it doesn't matter if you're trying to start a side hustle or a blog or whatever business, you're gonna need a website. And so Hostinger is the easiest and most affordable way. So I'll go ahead and add the premium to my cart. And from there, it's gonna ask me to choose a time period. So you guys can choose from the one month plan, the 12 month plan, 24 month, and the 48 months plan. Now, obviously, if you guys choose the longer plans, like the 48 month plan, you're gonna get access to two months free and it's gonna be less than $3 per month. And the only one that I don't recommend is the one month plan because this is obviously way more expensive. But if you're just starting out, I highly recommend 12 months, 24 months, or 48 months. So for this example, let's just go ahead and choose the 12 month plan. And so down here, you guys can create your account to log into your hosting or dashboard. So go ahead and enter in your email address and a password that you'd like to use. And then down here, you just have to enter in some personal information and then your card information and then click on submit secure payment. But yeah, as you guys can see, the total right here is at $38.28. And this is for a year's worth of web hosting. So yeah, super, super affordable even if this doesn't work out for you i mean i think 40 dollars is not going to be too bad most people in the military are spending 40 dollars on way worse stuff but we're not going to get into that 38 dollars and 28 cents very, very affordable. So now once you guys have completed signing up, you guys are gonna get taken to a dashboard that looks like this. At the top here, you can see that you can claim your free domain at any time. For me, I actually got my domain names off of Namecheap. I'll leave a link down below to that, but it's a pretty straightforward process. This is what the website looks like. All you have to do is just enter in a domain name that you'd like to use and then click on search. So let's just go ahead and enter in like a random name and then go ahead and click on search. And now as you guys can see, the .com version of this domain name is gonna be $10 per year. And there's also some other endings like .org, .bot, .net. And these are gonna be priced differently depending on how much demand you have for that domain name. So obviously if it's a really good sounding domain name like military blog or something like that, it would be more expensive or it's taken. So to show you guys, militaryblog.army is $12 per year. It's not too bad, but let's go ahead and search up .com and we can see that it's already taken. So it's registered in 2003, but some other really professional domain names would be like .co. So we can see that that's available at $11 per year. And yeah, this is just for if you guys want to create multiple different websites, you're going to need a different domain name for each of them. But obviously with hosting here, you guys are going to get that free domain name. So just go ahead and use it. I haven't used mine yet, but maybe I will in the future. Now down here, they're going to have your hosting plan. So right now I have the premium web hosting and I have six different websites built on that. So you guys are going to see something similar where it says premium web hosting, except on the right hand side, instead of manage, it's going to say setup. So just go ahead and click on that and I'll show you guys how to get started on that. So this is the page that's going to show up. It's going to ask you if you want to create or migrate a website. So if you have a website on a different platform like Bluehost or whatever, you guys can migrate it over to Hostinger. But for this example, since we're starting out from scratch, I'll go ahead and create one. Next, they're gonna ask me how I would like to create my website. So there's two different options. There's WordPress and then there's Hostinger's website builder with AI. Now, WordPress is super popular. They're super customizable. There's tons of tutorials online out there, but it is kind of complicated for total beginners to learn. So I highly recommend if you're a complete beginner and you don't wanna learn WordPress, then I would choose Hostinger's website builder 
with AI. All you have to do is just answer a few different questions on their prompts, and they're literally gonna generate you a website in a couple of minutes. So for this video, I'll go ahead and choose that. If you guys do want a tutorial on how to start a website with WordPress, then comment down below and I'll make that video in the future. Now from there, they're gonna ask me, you know, what domain name would I like to use for my website? Obviously, this is where you guys would just plug in your free domain, but for this example, I'll just choose temporary domain since I don't actually wanna create this website. And that's gonna take you through their prompts. You just have to answer a few different questions about your brand, what the title is for your business, and what your website is about. And this is gonna help the AI generate a bunch of different copy, the images, and the overall layout and the features that you have on your website. But you guys can also just use their pre-made templates on here. For this video, I'll show you guys how to run through the different prompts that they have. So I'll click on start creating right here. And now they're gonna ask me for the brand name, the website type, and a short description of what the website is about. So yeah, this is just an example, of Joey's test website. Let's say it's a blog and this is the description. It could be super basic and it could be also super complex if you want. But from there, just go ahead and click on create a website. And now the AI is gonna do everything for you. Okay, cool. So that took under a minute. And now that it's done, I can take a look. So we can see that it has the header. Right now it's just the title, but I can obviously change this to a custom logo. There's the menu right here. So they have the homepage and the blog. They have a kind of like military looking background. I'll obviously change this out. And then if I scroll down, they have a couple of different blog posts. Cool. Down here, they have a contact form. So get in touch with me. And then down here at the bottom, they have a standard footer. You guys can also see how it looks on mobile by clicking on this right here. So I can scroll through. I can make sure that everything looks okay. And I can always change any of this stuff if I want. But for the most part, it's going to create a pretty basic but professional looking website for you. And guys, don't worry too much about having the most like advanced built out website. As a total beginner, you should just worry about getting started. And then over time, you can make it better. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit site now. And now that's going to take me to the AI website builder. So I'm just going to quickly run through the basics of how to use it. I'm not going to go too in depth because you guys can just mess around with it yourself. But everything for the most part is pretty much just click and drag. So for example, if I want to click this, I can go ahead and edit the text right here. So let's say I want to name it Joey's blog. I can go ahead and change some of the settings for the text. Going back, I can also use the AI writer. So for this, I can just enter in a prompt and it's going to generate some text for me. This is good if you guys need to write some copy. So like, let's say my tagline right here, and let's say I want to move this somewhere. I can just click it and then drag it wherever I want. I can also resize it using this right here. And yeah, you guys can see that it's very, very beginner friendly. I don't need to know any code at all. Let's say I want to change the background image. I'll just click on the picture and I'll click on edit section. I can also generate an image with AI. So that's really cool. There's a button right here. I can edit the button like so. I can change what the button says. I can change what the button links to. I can change the general settings. There's also style settings and animation settings. And if I want to add a section, I'll just go in between and then click on add section like so. They have a bunch of different templates that I can choose from. So let me go ahead and go down to the bottom right here. And let's say I want to add a section in between this. And let's say I want to add an about section, right? So there's a bunch of different templates that I can choose from. Let's say that I like this one. So I'll go ahead and click on that. That, and now you guys can see that it's added it. Very self-explanatory, just change up some of the text and change up the images. If I wanna delete this, I could just click on the section and then click on the delete button right there and boom, now it's gone. Over here on the left-hand side, they also have some other things like adding elements. Let's say that I wanna add uh, some social icons, right? I just click this and drag it onto the screen. And now it's on the screen. I can click and drag it to be right there. Let's say I want to edit and change the style. So let's change it to white so that's easier to see. Cool. And then obviously I would just enter in my links to my social media here. Going back to the left-hand side, they also have pages and navigation. So we can see right here, they have the home page and the blog page. But if I want to add more pages, very simple, just click on add page right here. And I can create an about page, contact page, services page. All these are really good templates for you guys to choose from. You can also use AI to generate a page for you or just create a new empty page from scratch. Next, they also have some website styles that you guys can change. So this is gonna change the appearance across your entire site. So you can change the colors, the fonts, the buttons, and the animations. Next, they also have have a bunch of different AI tools that you guys can use. Most of these are very easy to understand, super self-explanatory, right? This one is just to generate images for you. This one is to write stuff for you. This one's gonna generate pages. This one's gonna generate blogs. This is a heat map, so this one's pretty cool. It's basically gonna show where most of the attention is going on your page. So when a viewer goes onto your website, right, what is the first thing that they're gonna look at? This is gonna help you determine, okay, what's super important and what do I need to spend most of my time focusing on? So 
as you guys can see, it's generated the heat map and you guys can see that very clearly. The first thing that they're gonna see is the big old text on the screen. So this is the most important part. And next is gonna be this area. So the header as well as the button. Scrolling down, they also have different ones for the pictures. So this one, they're focused on the hands. This one, they're focused on the text and the button. And then down here on the footer, they have different stuff as well. This is obviously gonna change as you guys create your pages and customize it. But yeah, super cool tool for you to predict user behavior. They also have an AI SEO assistant. So SEO basically stands for search engine optimization. And this is what helps your website rank higher on search. So whenever you search up something, like if I search up Joey's blog, I'm gonna get a bunch of different results on my web browser. And if your website has good SEO, then that is gonna rank higher on the search, maybe the first place or the second place. And the higher you rank on search, obviously that's gonna lead to more people visiting your website. Because if you're on the second page or the third page of results, they're probably not gonna find you. And then last, they have the AI logo maker. So this is really cool, but it does cost, I think, some credits. So right now I have one credit left. I think every single plan comes with one credit, but you guys can also buy credits. So 50 credits is $5. So pretty much you're paying $5 to be able to generate 50 different logos. But yeah, very, very simple. You guys just have to put in the prompt of what you guys want and then click on create, or you guys can also create it yourself. I'm not gonna go too much into this. You guys can mess around with it on your own. But yeah, this logo is something that would just go on to your header. So right here. And yeah, the last thing that I wanna go over is the blog right here. So this is really good if, you know, obviously you have a blog website. They've already created some for me based on the prompt that I put. But yeah, if I want to add a new one, I just have to click on add new post right here. And this is where I'd be able to write it. So I can either create it with AI or I can just skip and then write it yourself. And yeah, this is where all your blog posts are going to live. So the more that you create, it's going to show here on your homepage and also on your blog page as well. Now, before you guys actually go live on your website, I want to tell you guys that it's important to look at how your website looks like on mobile view. So go ahead and click on this mobile icon right here and just make sure that everything is good before you actually go live. For the most part, you guys won't need to change anything because most of their designs are very professional. But if there's anything that you guys want to change, like let's say I want to change this button to just be like a little bit higher up, I could do that. Again, everything is very simple, drag and drop, literally requires zero brain cells to do this. So yeah, very simple. Anyone from any branch, even the Marine Corps, you can start a website very easily. And yes, I could say that because I am a Marine. So don't get offended in the comments. But yeah, go ahead and mess around with the website, customize it however you want. And once you guys are ready, go ahead and click on the go live button right here. And once that's done, your website's online. So yeah, that's it for how to create a website for military members. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I tried to break this down Barney style, very, very simple and easy for you guys. But if there's anything that was confusing, feel free to just play back and then rewatch any of the parts that you didn't understand. And if there's still something that you don't understand, feel free to leave a comment down below. But anyways, I hope you guys got some value out of this video. Again, I'll leave a link down below to host Singer, where you guys can get started for less than three dollars per month make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this here on this channel i want to teach military members all about business finance entrepreneurship making money online and a bunch of other things like that so if that interests you or you know anybody in the military who's also interested share this video with them and hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date with new videos thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time